Hello guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and we are here with the testing out of Archie's watercolour paper video and I am so excited. I got this in the mail from Amazon, I bought the pad version so um, the little pad version is actually cheaper than the block but it's the same paper. Um, if you watch Mind of Watercolour he mentions that he always thought that the, um, or he he says that the Archie's paper is like the cheaper version of Archie's but he doesn't mean cheaper as in it's worse quality, it's still the same. Anyway, a lot of artists swear by this paper and use it a lot including Mind of Watercolour and I wanted to try it out for myself. It claims on the actual Archie's website or the paper itself, I think, that it is 100% um, cotton, which is true, I guess. And it also claims that it doesn't wrinkle or bubble or warp. And that was something that I wanted to test out because I just don't think that it does not warp. Um, on the video that you can see right now, I am actually painting a little piece of cake because if you haven't noticed on Instagram or Twitter or anywhere else uh, in my social media places, I have been obsessed with sweet treats recently. I'm trying to eat healthier and I thought that it would be a good idea to paint sweet treats rather than eat them but it's just actually making me want to eat all the sweet treats. So don't do that, it's not a good idea. But I am painting that and I haven't actually um, masked it down because I wanted to test it to see what it was like masked down and I do want to do more tests with this. Um, I did like a couple of layers on this cake, I didn't do too many, not so many that normal artists would do but I really like the whole like one, two, well not one layers but like two or four, two to six maybe layers of painting uh, style, especially if I'm trying to get a pastel -y look, which I was trying to do on this painting. I don't know if I achieved that or not, but um, I don't like to saturate my paper with water or paint too much, but I will be obviously testing this out. This is more of a like first impressions Archie's watercolour paper video rather than a review or a intense like I have used this paper for the whole pad kind of deal. Um, the thing that I thought was really interesting was that I wasn't actually that scared to paint on it. I thought I would be because I know that it's quite expensive and I know that you don't get that many sheets but the um, little swatch sheet that you will see at the end of the video or maybe even during the video if I zoom it out too much. Um, I did swatches on the Archie's paper without any worries about am I wasting the paper because I know that mixing charts are very important especially for me because I like to reference them and see what kind of colours I can get with my paints. Um, I am using the Winsor & Newton Cotman range of paints. I do have professional uh, coloured paint, professional coloured paints. I do have professional paints as well. I have the Schmink and I also have a couple of Winsor & Windsor and Newton colours but I decided to test the Cotman on it because I wanted to see if it really stands true that you don't need expensive paints, you just need good paper because a lot of artists including myself say that uh, you can get beautiful artworks with any type of medium, student or otherwise, um, if you have good paper so I wanted to test that out as well. So I guess I should get on to my opinions of the paper and I'll try and insert a couple of pictures here. It's easier to show you on the pictures or a video clip depending on how much of a setup I can be bothered doing. But um, there is a paper that I use because it is easily accessible to me and it's relatively close in price but I think that the Langton, Dela Rooney Langton paper is actually cheaper and I don't know how many sheets it comes in, I can't remember. I've used a whole pad of that paper and um, it seems to not buckle as much as the Archie's did and I used the 
paint and the paper in the same way. I didn't tape it down, I just used it straight from the pad. I even ripped both of them out of the pad to use and that paper did not buckle as much as the Arches paper did, which I found really disappointing because I was so excited for this paper. But I also want to test it while it's taped down to something um, and obviously test it with more layers and more intense like paintings. This was just a little kind of sweet treat painting, not too fancy, nothing original, just uh, just a uh, a painting of a cake and I actually made this cake at one point for somebody's birthday long ago. I am very much into baking and um, that's another thing as well. I like to combine my hobbies like if you have been watching my channel for a while you will know that I did a series called The Sims 4 Paintings in Real Life and I obviously love playing The Sims 4 and I love painting so I decided to d combine the two and I love also baking and obviously painting so I like to combine those as well by painting the treats that I have made. Um, I did this with um, some strawberry covered cho uh, chocolate covered strawberries and also some peanut butter cups as well as donuts um, and that was fun. <laughs> but yeah, so this paper is very good. I like how the paint lays on it. You can keep the paint relatively wet while you work and you can fill good heavy long areas with it or big areas with it and you can also get a certain amount of detail too although I will say that when I was painting the little dots on the cake I was having trouble keeping in the lines but I don't think that's actually the paper's fault that's my patience fault because with watercolour you need a lot of patience and I do not have that patience I have got a little bit I have gotten I have got a little bit better at being patient with watercolour but Unfortunately, sometimes I just want it to hurry up and dry. Um, I don't like using heat guns or hair dryers to dry my paintings. I think that it shifts the paint too much. Um, there's obviously a way that you can do it to stop that, but I just prefer it to let it dry naturally. Um, and I think that I put, even though it seemed to be dry, I didn't actually touch it to test to see if it was dry. I just looked to see if it was glossy or not. And if it wasn't glossy, then I painted on it. So I did have troubles with bleeding into each other, but that was my fault, not the paper's fault. Um, I am not clued up on things to do with paper. Like I don't really know the ins and outs of the way it's made and how it should be reacting to certain things. Um, but I'm just giving you my novice opinion and first impressions of this paper. I don't think that it's anything special. Yes, cotton paper is special. I think that if you want to learn how to use watercolour properly and you don't want to fight with your materials, wood pulp paper is really hard to use and you should definitely try and opt for cotton paper if you can afford it. But I honestly think that I'll stick to Daily Rooney Lang Langington paper because it's easily accessible to me. My local hobby craft store uh, sells it so I can easily just go to that shop and get a pad whenever I want and I don't have to order it online and wait. Um, and I don't know, I think I feel less scared to use that stuff. Even though I'm not scared to use the Arches paper, I think that I'm more likely to be able to paint on the Daily Rooney paper than I am on the Arches because Arches is like known as a very good brand and it is a couple of pence or pounds cheaper, um, sorry, deeper than the, than the Daily Rooney Lang Langton paper. Maybe I should get a paper that I actually can pronounce. Um, oi, oi. Sorry about my phone, I should have put that on silent. Um, but yeah, that is my review about the paper. If you want to check out any of the other reviews or first impressions of art supplies and products that I have, then you can definitely go and check the playlist at the end of the video on the end screen as well as in the description below. And I have plenty of other videos to do with watercolour and even sketchbooks because I love sketchbooks. So go and check that out as well. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell if you want down below so that you can get notified of the videos that I post. I only post on a Friday to now uh, at 6pm GMT. Actually it's BST now because we're in summer but yields and um, that's exciting. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video on Friday at 6pm GMT. Bye!